Hello, and thank you for watching this video on using AWS Elemental Media Convert in .NET. My name is Jeff Weinhold, and I'm an Enterprise Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. AWS Elemental Media Convert is part of the AWS Media Services family of fully managed services that make it easy to build reliable, broadcast quality video workflows in the cloud. Media Convert is a file-based video transcoding service with broadcast-grade features. It allows you to easily create video on-demand content for broadcast and multi-screen delivery at scale. The service combines advanced video and the audio capabilities with a simple web services interface and pay-as-you-go pricing. With the AWS Elemental Media Convert, you can focus on delivering compelling media experiences without having to worry about the complexity of building and operating your own video processing infrastructure. One of the three most common use cases for Media Convert is transcoding of user-generated content that is uploaded by your end users. Another use case is the transition of broadcast playout and video on-demand workflows into the cloud to leverage the scalability and reliability of cloud infrastructure. In addition, Media Convert can be used by over-the-top or OTT services that stream multi-screen content over the internet. Media Convert allows you to create engaging viewing experiences, including graphic overlays, content protection, closed captioning support, and professional broadcast formats. Media Convert supports a broad range of video input and output formats, including those for broadcast as well as formats for delivery over the internet. Media Convert eliminates the burden of managing video processing infrastructure by automating the key aspects of workload provisioning and management. Each job you create with Media Convert runs on redundant infrastructure distributed across physically separated availability zones. Let's jump right into a demo. We'll start with a simple Razor Pages web app in ASP.NET Core to upload a sample video to AWS for transcoding. We have a sample video file, vanlife.mp4, that you can see here. Let's select the video and upload that to our application. We've uploaded our video file to Amazon's Simple Storage Service, or S3, with notifications enabled on upload. This notification event will allow us to start an AWS Elemental Media Convert job to transcode our video into 720p and 1080p video formats. Let's go ahead and check on our job. It's currently progressing. Now you can see that the job is complete. Let's go ahead and view our two videos. First 720. Great, we can see that that one worked. Let's go ahead and download that video. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the 1080p video. Okay, great, let's download that. All right, let's go take a look at the properties of those files. You can see we now have two more video files, one with the 720 and the other with the 1080 suffix. Let's check the properties of the files. Checking the details, we can see the video is 1280 by 720. The 1080 file detail tab is 1920 by 1080. Let's talk about how this solution integrates the AWS Elemental Media Convert service. Our Razor Pages application uploads to an Amazon S3 bucket, which triggers an event notification to our Lambda function. This function reads the event data and builds the necessary settings to launch a Media Convert job. Once the job is completed, Media Convert will write the output files to our specific location in Amazon S3. Let's take a closer look at how this is put together in .NET. We have two projects, the UI layer in Razor Pages, and then a Lambda function that launches a Media Convert job. When the file is uploaded via the UI, our onPostAsync method is being executed in our index page model class. Using the AWS SDK, S3 NuGet package, we're instantiating the Amazon S3 client with the AWS region pulled from the appsettings.json file. From there, we'll use the transfer utility helper class to help upload to our S3 bucket. Finally, we'll redirect to the uploads page while we wait for the media convert job to finish. We'll build out the Lambda function step by step. Once you have the Media Convert NuGet package installed, you can start to use the client to access Media Convert. You'll need to know the service URL 
which we'll build in the constructor of the function. We'll also stub out the list endpoint method. We know ahead of time that we're going to need the region, so we'll parse that from the environment variable that AWS sets for you called AWS underscore region. Now we'll implement the list endpoint method by calling the describe endpoints async method on the media convert client. We'll take the first endpoint back from the collection and return the URL. We'll then add the method called function handler that will register with the Lambda service as an entry point for our application. This relies on the amazon.lambda.s3 events package to get a nice C sharp object to work with. We'll loop through the collection of records and call our stub.method create job. The input class contains the path to the source file, decryption settings if necessary, or settings like which audio tracks you want to use in your outputs. We've preset a few basic settings in this example. Finally, we've implemented the output group class, setting the S3 bucket and the prefix of where we'd like to store the output videos. We're also defining here the collection of output videos that we'd like Media Convert to generate. In this case, we specified a 720p and a 1080p video using the preset profiles. Now the job is ready to be sent to the Media Convert service. Now that the Media Convert job has been submitted, here's how the UI is pulling the Media Convert service using the List Jobs API. Using the paginator features, we'll loop through the results and build a collection of jobs to present to the UI. And the Uploads Razor page then takes the collection of jobs from the model and builds an HTML table with the results. The download links are built if the job status is complete. Finally, once the download link is clicked, we'll take the job ID from the query string, call Media Convert's Get Job API, parse those results to build a pre signed URL from Amazon S3, and then redirect the user to that URL. For more about the AWS Elemental Media Convert service, you can go to aws.amazon.com forward slash media convert in your browser. From there, you can click the resources item along the top and then API reference. On the Getting Started page, we also have another Create Job example using the AWS SDK for .NET. In addition, from our AWS SDK for .NET page on GitHub, you can browse the API documentation for the Media Convert service. From here, you can see all of the classes available to you, including the Amazon Media Convert client. In this video, we saw how we can use the AWS SDK for .NET to convert video digital media with AWS Elemental Media Convert. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.